In this video, I want to show you how you can set up a collab from Unity. Currently, I'm using Unity 2020.3.0f1. But any other, even older version should have the same procedure. First off, you go to Window, General, and then here you're going to look for Services. You can also use the shortcut Control-0. Once you're in the Services tab, you're going to see Collaborate. You're going to press on that once, and a new open or window is going to open. On older versions, like 2K19, a new window will open automatically in the Services tab. What you want to do is first you want to select the organization. In my case, it's of course me as a person or me as a publisher. So I'm going to pick me as a person. And if you have a Unity account already, which you do, you automatically have one of these organizations set it up. If you have an existing organization as well as a existing Unity project ID, you don't need to do this. But because you can use an existing Unity ID project, which will automatically be updated. Once you have selected the organization, you're going to create a project ID. What you can now see is Collaborate is still offline. So the only thing I need to do is I click Off to be on. Now you see it's going to get updated and preparing the project for being activated for Collaborate. Once that is complete, you're going to see some more updates also over here in the top. Give it a second to load. Depending on the size of the project, this can take up to several minutes. Again, depending on how big that project is going to be. Once that is finished, you're going to should uh, see a little arrow popping up over here in Unity 2K19. Again, this icon is a bit bigger and better to see. What you now need to do is, you need to go and publish the project to Unity Collaborate. How does it work? It's rather simple. You just click on this little icon, and you're going to see what the, all the changes are, have been you have made before. Again, in 2K19, that looks a bit different. You want to publish all changes, so you select all, and then you hit publish. Once you're done with that, you're going to go and pick a team member you want to invite. You can do this in the Unity dashboard or you can do this um, directly in Unity. So what I now do is I update or upgrade and upload the current project in its current state. So I just use the sample scene over there just for that particular part. And once that has been submitted and published, you should be able to pick a team member. We go to our dashboard. Once you click that button, you go into your Unity ID. As you can see, it will automatically open this website. What you're going to put in is your email address and your password. And once it has been loaded, you should see Collaborate over here, the uh, current project you were working on, as well as your uh, ID, actually. So these are the current assets, but if you want to work with somebody together, you need to team up with him. And to do add one new team member, you go to Collab Test. You're going to pick Manage Projects. And in here, you have Unity Team Seeds Management. What you can do now is you can go and select one or the current project you want to work on or manage. And then you go to Project Members. In project members, you're going to see yourself as being the actual owner of that as an access level. And to invite somebody to that, you only need to put in his email address. Once done, the user you have invited to work with you on a team, you're going to get he gets an email as well as his Unity Hub is going to see that once updated at least. Also, you can see that the who is who and who is who has what rights. So be prepared for that too. Whenever you work for somebody, you just give them normal user access. So put in any email address of a test user, give him the right of being a user, and then you're good to go. The user is able to download the complete project, do changes, 
and update them accordingly once he publishes the changes. This is also the way I now work with my clients over here. To make my life and their life easier, they still um, have the control, so you would have the control as being the owner of the object or of the product and the other ones just working with you at the same project. Once you don't like to work with them anymore, you can always get rid of them by just kicking them out of the team. Make sure that you only can or be careful because you can only have two Unity Team Basic Seeds and one Advanced Seed for uh, your complete, uh, let's say, com organization. So it makes sense to, whenever you don't need somebody else to work for anymore, get rid of them so you get another free team seat again so you can add other people which you don't need you kick and which you need like you need a graphics or an artist or an animation designer then you invite them to the team once you don't need them anymore you can just kick them out of the team actually that's how you can work together with others without sending them huge data packages or even doing streamlined data do a row um, team video or, or anything else like that. Thanks a lot and I hope that, that will help you to upgrade your uh, workflow actually with Unity Collaboration. Cheers!